Hello, welcome back. This is Kench 1913, and we are Let's Playing Gabriel Knight 3, Blood of the Sacred, Blood of the Damned. In the last episode, we, uh, what do we do? We got another Frozen game, because that's how this, uh, that's, this is how it likes to treat me. Anyways, I, I uh, got back to this area, and I want to look at this. The departures won't help me much. My gut instinct tells me the baby's still in the area. Yeah, but if we look at, the, if we actually look at this, right? Those are the trains you can catch from here. Daily, Paris and Bordeaux, Tuesday and Thursday, Rome and Madrid. Not a lot of options if you want to leave Coiza. No, there was something I, I was, uh, there's something I did. Yesterday was Wednesday, so the only trains that came in were from Nice, Paris, Madrid, and Rome. There is no Naples route. Yes. In he... other words, Buccelli is lying. Either he didn't take the train at all, or he didn't take the one he says he took. So there you go. That's what I wanted to show you. Now how do I get out of here? Now hopefully this won't make my game be destroyed. And just to test it, I'm going to save another game. Escape of Night 3... G. And we're gonna save it. And we're gonna leave and see if our game blows up. I hope not. Honestly, if you look at I think you have a better ratio of the game freezing than it does not freezing. Think about the rivals. There are no trains. Exit and use this, use your bike. Alright, I'm just gonna hit the escape. Use the bike. This is gonna, I believe it'll close out the day. If I'm not mistaken. Not the day, but it'll close out the period of time. So let's save our game. We started at 10 a.m. and now it is 4 p.m. Or, or, or 4 p.m., so. All right, so now we're this green here, and as you can see, there's a blue here. So let's go to Om the Morph, wherever that is. Let's go here. Let's look at this thing, huh? Oops, I keep in the wrong thing. What is this thing? I wonder who's here. All right, let's get out our note, our handy dandy notebook. And write down. I better make sure I know who's writing it first. Oh, I guess we got to head up over here. Okay. What is this like a on the wall or something. Hey, who's that? Oh, look who it is. It's mostly. Oh, hi, Gabe. It's Gabriel, you flatfoot. What are you doing here? Me? Oh, just looking around. I thought you said you were busy this afternoon. I am busy. I'm busy looking around. And if I'd wanted my mother along, I would have invited her, Knight. Okay, all right. Forget I mentioned it. Let's ask you some more stuff. So, uh, why are you looking around here? <sighs> I saw the sign and it looked interesting, okay? The dead man. Now, doesn't that sound like something I'd find interesting? How do you know La Mort meant the dead man? Your French is worse than mine. I saw it in a guidebook. Look. Why don't you go catch some kidnappers, will you? I'm Why don't you gone. Help? Why don't you help me catch some kidnappers? I could swear he's up to something. I just don't know what. I saw your moped in the parking lot. Nice back. You know, go to hell. <laughs> Somebody in the group screwed up, or the moped guy screwed up. I don't know. Anyway, he hadn't checked off his list. Can you believe it? 
I was lucky to get anything. I'm gonna have a word with Madeline about it. Oh, you should. Really. You shouldn't have to put up with that. Tell me about it. So, what are you driving? Oh, one of the bigger bikes. It's a little rough. Yeah. Goddamn small towns. I'm surprised we didn't get, like, a car or anything. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, the dead man. I don't know what that even means. I mean, I, I know... I could have probably figured out the French. Because Mort is pretty much, like, you know, you can figure it out. Alright, Gabriel. How long does it take you to get through here? Come on, let's go. I ain't got all day. So now let's use the thing here so we can write down write down Mosley's bike so that we know where everybody is at all times. Got it. Alright, now we gotta drive somewhere. Chateau de Blanchefort. Because as you saw on the thing, on the, um, what is it? On the thing on the outside. See, there's like this blue thing going around. I wonder who's here. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait until someone comes around. Before we figure out who, who else is here. Here we go. They got a blue bike. Let's hit follow. Now we're pretty much just going to follow them, like a good sleuth would do. Where the hell are they going? Are they just going in circles? What the hell is going on? They're just driving around the valley. Forget that. So I guess we gotta follow up the right path again. Oh, look who's here. It's this guy. Um... Uh, yeah, talk to Emilio. I guess that's his bike. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Back at ya. You look comfortable. Ah, uh, yes, I'm enjoying the sun immensely, thank you. Hmm. I don't want to bug him. Well, you don't want to bug him. Well, we could talk to him some more, Gabe. We could talk to him a lot more if you want my opinion. Let's take those. Let's use them on here. And now we're going to start looking for... for something. Let's see. Down here, I guess. Go down. Up. Oh. Oh, look, they're doing something together. Hmm. What the hell are Well, they? well. Looks like those two are having a conflict of interest. Very curious. Okay, so it looks like they... I don't know, they're, they're looking for something. They're shady. I never thought Mosley would be shady. 
but he's shady. I can't believe it. Our friend. What is he up to? What the fuck? What the Alright, when I get down here and I take Emilio's thing, I'm gonna save it again. Just so I don't have to... Got the red bike. Got Emilio's treasure or Emilio's uh, bike now, which is good. And yeah, those two ladies don't worry about them because they're just uh, they're just um, driving around. On like a pleasure cruise or something. Alright, so now let's head over to the Renan Le Chateau. Which is the hotel. Alright, walk down the grassy path beside the church and listen to Arnold and Madeline talk about the treasure. Or we could just let the computer freeze. Or the game freeze and then I can never get out of it. Ugh. Alright, I'm back! I figured out how to do it, how to play the game. Well, I don't know why it keeps crashing, but I figured out how to play it and not have my computer crash. Or not have to restart my computer. Where the hell is the... Where the hell... Is it over here? No, no, no. Where the hell is the, uh... Is it this way? Okay, yeah, it's this way. I think? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 it's this way. Alright, so... What I want to do is save the game once again. Because you never know. Now, I honestly... To be honest, this is the GOG version of this game. And I really don't know if, um... I really don't know if, um... Let's come over here. I don't hear them. But yeah, I don't know if it's this if it's this shitty playing it. Arnaud lives there. He sure has a taste for the morbid. All right. Walk down the grass path and start open the window. How do I open it? Hmm. Oh, over here. Oh, but you are too modest, Monsieur l'Abbé. You have been studying the area for years, have you not? My dear, I'm a man of very simple interests. That may be, but Juan Le Chateau is one of them. You have stepped into his shoes, Monsieur. You must sense a little, perhaps, of Sonier's secrets. Don't I wish, pretty child? Don't I wish? Tell me. Have you been plagued with many treasure seekers lately? In the valley, perhaps? You would notice such a thing. A keen man like you. Ah, oh, yes. There are things afoot, mademoiselle. How you make my heart beat. You have perhaps seen diggers? In some particular location? There are always diggers. But those who desire true illumination must look deeper than the soil. Oh, I agree. But you are being coy with me. 
I wish to know how many come seeking and how they impress you. Will you not tell me? My dear, I will tell you anything you like, but perhaps we would be more comfortable in my little house. Come. Hmm, she gonna make make whoopee with this guy? Jeez. You know the the twelve Maybe I should learn something about the treasure. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is, like, literally, the tour has not even started. Like, the official tour hasn't even started. And these people are out and about doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I, I, I don't know if it's the pacing. Like, it, I feel like it, it should be a, a little f slower, right, you think? Can I leave this way? No. Oh. Turn around. Alright, let, let's actually save the game again. But yeah, um... I don't know, it just seems a little fast. Everybody's looking for the treasure. You're not really get. You're not really getting the full, like... At least in the other game, like... There would be parts where... You would get, like... Um... More, like... Character development would be the word, I guess. Alright, so let's finally... Let's, let's finally head to Larry Chester's house. And here we're going to talk to him about... Um, the... I believe the... Uh, Knights Templar. Hello. May I help you? I hope so. The name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. The Abbe at Rennes le Chateau recommended you as a Templar scholar. Did he now? Yep. He said, go talk to Larry Chester about the Templars. And then he said, and let me know what you think. Well, in that case, you'd better come in. Ooh, look at that. Un... un Recognize fatal exception. Another time this game's frozen on me. All right, we're trying this again. Can I get you some tea? There we go. No, thank you. Now then, what can I do for you, Mr. Knight? Jeez, man, how, how many times has this game got to crash for me in order Madame to get this Girard going? Madame Gerard mentioned that the Holy Grail is sometimes linked to the Templars. It is, yes. In many of the early Grail legends, the Knights were described as Templars wearing the white mantle with a red cross. She said something about them actually finding the grail in the Holy Land. Do you think that's possible? Yes, I do. Yeah, all right, let's keep so hearing more about it. So you think the Templars it. found the Holy Grail in Jerusalem and brought it back here? Let me put it this way. When the Templars were founded in 1118, there were nine knights. Their stated purpose was to protect pilgrims on the road. But for years, they did nothing of the sort. They were given quarters in the Temple of Solomon by King Badouin himself. There they stayed, and there they excavated for nine years. Then, in 1128, they changed completely. They returned to Europe and began recruiting. Their wealth and power grew on an unprecedented curve. Yeah. So you, you do think they found the Grail? I think you're taking the legend of the Grail a little too literally. As with many things of the Middle Ages, it was often wiser and safer to speak in allegory. What's the Holy Grail an allegory of? I have a feeling that will come to light sometime in the next decade. Maybe e eternal life. And let's ask about what the Abbe is. mentioned that you're working on a book. Yes, I'm a historian. And you're writing about the Templars? Oh, exactly. This area is rich in Templar history. That's why I thought I'd come here to write. 
It's a kind of sabbatical, really. Hmm. A sabbatical from what? I teach at a prep school in Manchester. Oh, really? Is there any reason to think the Templars left something here, specifically? It's not unknown that the Templars were digging in the region. They claimed they were mining the old Roman gold veins, but they hired only German workers who couldn't communicate with the locals. Naturally, that led to some speculation. Really? What type of speculation? I read in the museum that several of the Templar founders and the Grand Master were from this region. That's true. They also had several bases here and owned a great deal of land. The Chateau de Ceres, for example, was built on top of an old Templar fortress. Really, these Templars are pretty cool, I guess. Why were the Templars accused of heresy? There are many theories, but most scholars agree that King Philip was jealous of their authority. He wanted to confiscate their land and their reputed treasure. Unfortunately, the Templars themselves helped him make his case. They boasted of the secrets they'd learned in the Holy Land. Secrets? Mystical secrets from Kabbalists and Arabic astronomers. Of course, to Christendom, this was nothing but witchcraft. Cool. Those who confessed were released. Those who did not were burnt at the stake, including the last Grand Master, Jacques Molay. And they dissolved completely after that? The Knights Templar were no more, yes. Yeah, you could say he was like, holy mole. <laughs> the Templars had a lot of wealth, Sorry. right? Gold, money, land. Absolutely. And that's one possibility for the alleged local treasure. The Templar stash. Yes, but... You don't think so? They had warning before their arrest. Perhaps some chose to believe that the church would ultimately protect them, but they had enough sense to move the treasure. To where? There are various locations. Ireland and Scotland have a great deal of Templar history, for hmm. example. But they may have not moved it, period, and just kept it If here. the Templars smuggled out their treasure, wouldn't that sort of blow the Grail theory? Perhaps there were some things that were too large or too... Uh, Shall we say, localized to take with them? No, they left something behind in the long dock. You can be sure of that, Mr. Knight. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. That painting's about as colorful as Larry himself. The guy's into maps. The guy's into maps. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Thanks for the info, Mr. Chester. You're most welcome. What is your interest in the Templars, if you don't mind my asking? No, I don't mind. Thanks again. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much, you know, a couple of things that this game is, is, is talking about. One, it's talking about, like... One thing that Gabriel's trying to do, obviously, is he's trying to, like, figure out, like, who kidnapped the kid, sort of vampires involved. And then now with this new system called Sydney, he's trying to, like, track down when the Schottenjägers actually happened. So that's another thing that's going on along with this game. Just just so you, you, keep, you keep that in mind. I, I don't feel like they've done enough to try and explain that. Like, even it, like, they should have done it in the game where it's like, even if... Even if you did not... Alright, so now we have day, day this or whatever. But even if you did not... Let's save our game. But yeah, even if you did not... Um, and I'm going to save it as a new game because I'm pretty much done. So, G. But yeah, even if you didn't like read the comic, they should at least had something in here that would have let you you know, know that... that um, that like certain stuff is you know certain supernatural stuff and honestly i feel like with this game like i mean i used to be a catholic or whatever so this kind of game is sort of in the wheelhouse of my thing and that's why i might not find it as interesting as the other ones like voodoo and even werewolves and stuff like that so i don't know anyways i'm gonna stop the video here in the next episode we're gonna continue on with day one at 6 p.m we're i believe we're almost done with the first day we only got two more uh time 
uh, things. So I've been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully we won't have as much uh, game crashing. Bye-bye.